Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be telling you lots of fun facts about myself that you probably weren't wondering, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Essentially today I am doing the get to know me tag. If you do know me, have fun listening to facts that you probably already know about me. And if you don't know me, sit back, relax, have fun learning all of these very new, fun, exciting things about me. So yeah, let's get started. The first question is, where are you from? I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and for those of you who don't know what Pittsburgh is like, it's pretty much as you would expect it. It's pretty green, it's a cool city. I honestly loved growing up in Pittsburgh. I love the sense of community the whole city has. I will always be a fan of the Steelers and the Pens, no matter how they play, because it is what Pittsburgh has etched into your brain um, from pretty much the moment you were born. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of where I grew up. I liked it a lot. I can't complain. So the next question is, where are you currently? I'm currently in Los Angeles, California. I'm out here for an internship with Studio 71. It has been really awesome so far. It's a lot to adjust um, from Pittsburgh. Definitely, definitely different. Um, but in a good way. I've kind of enjoyed getting to know the area. One thing about me is I like exploring new areas a lot. So last year I was in Washington DC for the summer. So yeah, that's pretty much why I moved from Pittsburgh to LA for the summer is because I wanted to kind of get out there. I wanted to see what LA had to offer and I wanted to explore an unknown area. And it's been really cool so far. The next question is, what college do you go to? I go to Penn State University and I'm absolutely in love with it. For everyone who tells you that Penn State is like a cult, they're 100% right. You will not find a person that goes there and doesn't love it. It is honestly the best experience and one of the best decisions that I ever made was to go there. Uh, I met a lot of my best friends there and I have honestly been having the time of my life I am in uh, the College of Communications. I major in Public Relations and minor in Digital Media Trends and Analytics. So pretty much I would love to do a job in social media one day or in PR one day. And that's kind of what I'm doing now for my internship. A lot of the reasons why I like Penn State are because of the social life, because of the education that I've gotten, because of the connections you will almost always see someone walking down the street in a Penn State shirt. I literally saw one the other day at the pool out here in LA. So yeah, it's been really awesome to be able to have all these opportunities. I am like so thankful that I chose to go there and I would 100% recommend it to anyone. And if you're too old to go to college, definitely go visit because the town is so cute and so fun. The next question is who is your best friend? And this is a very loaded question because I feel like I have a lot of really good friends rather than one best friend. I could start off with my two roommates at school, Mal and Natalie, what's up? Um, they're always very supportive of me, very loving. Um, we have the best times together. My boyfriend, Chris, I definitely say he acts as my best friend a lot of the times too. One of my um, best friends is actually from home and from high school. Uh, Hannah, hi, how you doing? A lot of these people have been there for me in really good times and really bad times and I'm very thankful for all of them. So shout out to all of them because y'all are my uh, best friend. The next question is how tall are you? And I'm probably the most average height you can get. I am 5'5". Five five. Um, I actually like my height. Uh, it makes me feel powerful whenever I'm taller than people in heels. So yeah, 5'5". Um, five five. Nothing really special, but I like to wear like six inch heels so that I'm like towering over everyone. Makes me feel important. So the next question is dogs or cats? And this is genuinely a hard question too because I feel like myself, I'm more of a dog person. But recently one of my roommates at school got a cat and he is a little angel and he's pretty much like a dog though. He's very friendly, he always greets us at the door, he literally plays fetch and sleeps next to us. So yeah, follow Winston on Instagram, 
Um, he's my roommate Natalie's cat. He's awesome. But I think overall, I am definitely a dog person. I recently just got a dog. Well, like two years ago, I convinced my parents to go out and adopt this dog. His name is Newt. Uh, he's an Italian water dog. He is literally a human. He has taken the place as youngest child in my family. I'm pretty sure he's the best thing to happen to my parents since my sister and I. Here's his Instagram if you want to go follow it. Uh, I keep it updated. I would definitely say dogs over cats. Sadly enough, sorry Winston. The next question is what year were you born? I was born in 1997. I was actually born on Thanksgiving, fun fact. Uh, I'm sure that was a very fun Thanksgiving for my mom. Didn't get any uh, mashed potatoes or gravy. So I am kind of partial to the holiday because I was born on it, but genuinely Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Um, my birthday's not always on Thanksgiving, fun fact, because it always changes. So I know that may sound weird, but yeah, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving and I know there's not really much to do on it but my family always gets together and we eat turkey, mashed potatoes, corn, gravy, the whole nine yards. I don't know why I like it so much. I think I like eating and then taking a nap and that's kind of like a national holiday. But yeah, that was an interesting birthday this year that I had turning 21. Um, it did land on Thanksgiving this year so that was definitely fun. I made sure to take it easy because I genuinely cared about the Thanksgiving food and not feeling sick more than I cared about having a fun 21st birthday. I was like, you know what? I'll have a fun time another day, but I don't want to be hungover for the Thanksgiving food. The next question is, what is your favorite drink? Um, other than water, I guess, if we're talking non-alcoholic, I'd say like iced coffee probably, like caramel iced coffee is like the go-to. If we're talking alcoholic, I'd say, and I will argue this to the grave, the best drink ever is vodka and ginger ale with a lemon. And I say this because I have such a sensitive stomach, so whenever I drink this drink, I never feel sick. I recommend it to everyone, um, 10 out of 10 drink. So next time you go to the bar, vodka, ginger ale, and a lemon. You're welcome. The next question is, how many siblings do you have? Other than my dog, who my family pretty much counts as a sibling, I have my sister Erica. She lives out in Boston. She's four years older than me. She's out there working. She moved there a little bit ago with her boyfriend, who is also pretty much like family at this point. But yeah, I have one sister and one um, dog brother. The next question is, what is your favorite food? So my all-time go-to favorite food would be chicken marsala and pretty much anything Italian, but also potatoes in like any form, mashed, baked, cubed, I don't know, however much, french fry, any type of potato you put on a plate in front of me, I will definitely eat it except for with ketchup, I hate ketchup, and no sweet potatoes. To wrap things up, the last question is, who are your favorite YouTubers? So, this is kinda hard because I feel myself like often going down YouTube rabbit holes instead of like finding one YouTuber and watching all of their videos. Someone who I do that with would be uh, Jenna Marbles. I've watched her ever since I was little and I still watch her today. I am like obsessed with her dogs and her boyfriend and her life. I pretty much uh, like comedic YouTubers like Casey Frey. I don't know if anyone knows him but I think he's so funny. And like Trisha Paytas, like she's just interesting to watch and I just like being entertained when I'm on YouTube. But yeah, pretty much. All of my YouTube journeys start with going down a rabbit hole and accidentally finding someone and then being like, hey, I like all their videos and then I'll just watch all their videos in one night and then just like never go back again. I don't know why I am the way that I am, but that's kind of how I do YouTube. So thank you for coming along this lovely journey with me of my personal fun facts. Um, if you relate to anything, like if you also love Guardians of the Galaxy, let me know in the comments. 
Um, if you only eat potatoes, let me know because I can relate. So if you like this video, make sure to check out some of my other ones that I have on my channel. If not, I am so sorry. Please exit out. Never come back. Um, I'll miss ya. But thank you for watching this one. Thank you for bearing through it. And I hope you got to know me a little bit better.